Welcome everybody. Today we're going to go over the ledger in Totem D. Now the ledgers, we're going to do all the financial transactions and counting for a patient. Um, as you can see on my screen, I've got the ledger open and it's blank. The first thing you'll need to do is select the patient. Now you can come over here to this drop down and select that patient or if you've got a brand new patient you need to add in on the fly, simply right click here where it says the chart and you can do that right here by doing F8 or just clicking on new patient. That'll take you through the whole process of entering the patient information and then it'll automatically have the patient selected for you here when you come back to the ledger. For now, I'm just going to click the drop down and just find a patient that I want to use, which would be Dalton. So you just select the patient. It'll bring up these custom alerts, which you can set up yourself. This top section is something that you will just type in um, and you can change this as you go. This bottom section is for more common things. You can set up a list and simply just check off maybe common allergies or conditions. They do want to make sure that you're alerted every time you, you bring up this patient. Now coming in the ledger, you can see I have the patient selected right here, the patient's name. If I ever at any time want to edit this patient, maybe change the address or phone number, I simply click on this link of their name. It'll take me right into the patient record. Below that is the billings. Now billing is something we use in Totem D that'll kind of group charges together um, under certain claim criteria or insurance. For example, if I do my drop down for billing, I can see I have three different billings for this patient. One is for the auto accident, which is all the charges and payments and adjustments that go to this particular case or this scenario, which is an auto accident, and that's being billed to State Farm. The next billing I have is just for office visits. These are just common things the patient would come in for. And it goes to the, the first health is what I set up the insurance for this picture billing. And last, the hospital visits. Now, like I said, you can add as much billings as you want. Typically, you maybe use one billing um, the whole time until the patient comes in with new insurance. Then you create another billing. It would have that new insurance. That way you have the old billing with the old insurance and your new billing will have new insurance. To edit the billing information, you simply click on the link next to it, and I can change the description or change this date here, here in, in the billing information or is where I would set up the insurance or any other criteria that's pertinent to the claim. Over to the right, this is the information that's for the billing and more of the totals that you can see. For example, in this billing, I have first health. I have $80, $82.25 that are going to be billed to them or are waiting on getting payments for. Below is the patient responsible balance or the remainder balance, which is $65 for the patient. A little further to right, I can see the totals, total charges on this billing, the adjustments, payments, and the total. A little further still, I can see this is the totals for all the billings added together. We have a total patient balance here, and then the responsible balance, the remainder of all the billings added together. Now this patient happens to be part of a family where they have multiple patients in Totem D and I've linked them together as a family. So I can see even the total of that family where I have $262.25 that's we're waiting on the patient or the insurance to respond to and then the responsible remainder balance which is $140 across the board for all the family members. Below that, this is something super handy. It shows that I have a patient payment of $50 that I've not yet applied. I've only collected the check or the, the payment from a credit card of $50 and that's telling me I have not distributed it to the charges in this patient's ledger. So to simply rectify that, I just gotta click on that balance of $50 and then go through the process of applying that through the ledger uh, to all the charges that, that are, have been done. Now here in the details of the ledger, this, this section, this grid is completely customizable. I can drag and move columns around if I like. I can add or remove things by go over to the left side and click on Customize View. Um, if I want to or maybe remove the diagnosis 4 or add diagnosis 5, 6, 7, I can do that simply by clicking on customize the view. Now the ledger is set up very simple. You can see at the top I've got my history of what's going on for this particular billing. I have the every time I bill the insurance, the claim, that'll be right here. I can double click on this note. It takes me right into the claim that I billed the insurance. Below that I'll see all the times I've billed statements to this patient. I can even double click on these this note right here to view an actual PDF of the statement that I sent to the patient. And then below that, below that we have all the different accounting information. I have all the procedures that were done with the dates of service. Under each procedure or charge, we have everything that's relevant to that. All the adjustments, payments that have been applied. I have a deductible note that, that the insurance gave me that's here. Um, I can have co-insurance notes that can appear as well. Um, as you can see down below here for this particular uh, charge, the 99000, it was a $10 charge. Insurance only 
uh, insurance didn't pay anything, um, and I had a remainder of $10. And so I put a little note here to remind myself I need to call and check in on this insurance and see why they didn't pay on that. But TotalB is set up very simple to see the patient's accounting. It makes it really easy when the patient calls in and says, hey, why do I have a balance? Well, you can simply open up the ledger and look at this remainder column, find the charge that has a balance on, and then explain what it happened to that charge and why that balance is there. If you need to simplify the view of your ledger a little more, say you just want to see the charges that were done, at the bottom there's an option that says exclude, and I can choose maybe let's exclude the, the history, the statement history. I can exclude everything but the charges. That way I'll see only charges that have a balance, and then I can see why the patient maybe has that balance if I'm trying to uh, narrow down things to explain more or if I'm just doing some investigation uh, for myself as a biller. Let's go ahead and show everything again. Entering in a new charge in TotemD is very simple. Simply click on the last item that's on the ledger and hit your down arrow key. If you don't want to use the keyboard, you can simply come over here on the left side and click on new transaction or hit the F8 key. But now that I hit the down arrow key, you can see the line is ready for a new charge. Simply type in your procedure code, 99213, and hit enter. I'm using my arrow keys to kind of go through the different columns here that I can change. If I wanted to, I can change the description on the fly. I can change the amount if I like to. Um, here I can add in the diagnosis codes. We'll just add a couple simple ones. And now the, the new procedure is entered. If I want to do another one, simply hit the down arrow key again type in my new procedure code, hit enter, and I'm ready to go. I've already entered two charges. In some cases, you may have uh, a group of charges that you want to enter. Maybe they come in for physical or they come in for a certain procedure, and there's always four or five charges associated with that. You can set up a multi-code to save you some time. And then once you have a multi-code set up, you would go here on the left side, click on use a multi-code, and select that multi-code you have done. For example, my diabetes screening, if I click on that, it's going to automatically create the procedure codes I had associated with that. So it created another office visit and then these other two charges that are associated with that. Saves you a lot of time when you're entering charges as a biller. Well, there you have it, a brief overview of our ledger. If you have any questions or want to know more, give us a call at 1-800-613-7597.